I was the uh, Trump transitions uh, leader for the Environmental Protection Agency team. President Trump made some very definite promises in the campaign in the area of energy, environment, and climate. So I think uh, no one should be surprised because he's made it clear throughout the transition that he intends to keep the promises that he made during the campaign. So those include withdrawing from the Paris Climate Agreement, defunding UN climate programs, and going after, uh, in various ways, suspending, rescinding, opening, withdrawing various rules. A $1 billion budget cut in the first uh, fiscal year coming up uh, is reasonable. You know, the EPA's work has largely been accomplished in terms of protecting our environment, clean air and clean water, safe drinking water. Uh, there are still some challenges, but they're, they're challenges that are uh, not largely national, they're, usual, they're mostly regional or local. I'm part of the consensus, that is, carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gas emissions created by human beings are increasing atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases, and that that will cause some warming. That's, and that there will be impacts, that's the consensus. The claims that it will lead to disaster after disaster, there is no consensus for that. We have modern technology. Human beings have dealt with climate change ever since human beings have existed and, and, and in fact have survived ice ages, which are a lot more trouble than a little bit of warming. The fact is that uh, we, we now, uh, in modern society, have the technology to deal with environmental challenges. And that's why people live in Phoenix. And that's why people continue to move to Phoenix and leave the upper Midwest and the Northeast. Because warm is good as long as we have air conditioning. 